Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about tips and strategies I personally use to quit smoking. I think they can be really powerful not just for quitting smoking but for anything that you really want to do or accomplish in your life. Anyway, I hope that you stay tuned. Check them out in the video. My name is Aurel Acolytis and I'm empowering wellness through nutrition, fitness and mental and emotional health. Today I want to talk about different tips and strategies you can use to quit smoking if that is a challenge that you want to take on this year. One of the things that you can cut out of your life uh, to, to make you healthier, it's definitely one of the first things that I chose to cut out and um, you might want to look at that too. Anyway, let's get to the five different tips and strategies that I used and see how they can help you. Tip number one, mindset. So you need to actually decide that you want to quit. Then you will make it happen. As we all know, smoking isn't just a physical addiction. There are mental and emotional components as well, like it being a stress reliever, it being used in a social occasion all of these other things that we need to consider because you're going to be faced with these situations where you're going to want to have a smoke and if you haven't thought about an alternative during those periods then you're probably just going to go back to smoking which is okay because it happens everybody goes back everybody well, I have to say most people go back at least some people quit cold turkey which is absolutely amazing but that's not the way that I did it. Um, I definitely failed along the way, but I also just tried to figure out what worked, what wasn't working, adapted, and continued. Tip number two, create strong reasons to support your change. These are gonna help you through the hard times when you're thinking about, oh, it's just one smoke, or, oh, you know, like I'll try again tomorrow, which is fine, that can, that's good too. Um, but if you really want to power through, especially going to another stage where you're trying to change even more habits, it's really important to have something to focus on. I made a list of two different things. I made a list of all the things that I didn't want. I didn't want to smell. I, I didn't want to be wheezing during the day. I didn't want to walk up a flight of stairs and be completely out of breath. I didn't want to be overweight, which does and doesn't relate to smoking, but definitely increases your toxic load. Um, I didn't want to get any serious diseases, but everybody's kind of heard all of that. Um, I think everybody kind of just, it's just a backwash. It's, it's, it's kind of everywhere and I don't think it affects people as much until it actually touches them personally. So I also wanted to look at positive things. So if I make this change, what am, I, what am I gonna get? First of all, I'm not gonna be paying for smokes every day. A pack a day, especially now, oh my God, that's a lot of money. I was able to put that aside and actually get some nice stuff. Um, I started exercising more. I felt better, I was able to breathe. I was able to, you know, like run around with my cousins. Um, I was able to taste food again, like it was, it was different, it was like my taste buds were muted, I was able to fully enjoy flavors and actually found that vegetables are really, really good when you don't have something else in the way, um, which also helped me with some other healthy habits that I came up with later on. But just there are so many ways of looking at it just make sure that you're looking at both sides and really have well-rounded reasons for why you need to quit tip number three create small manageable habit changes or steps so what I mean by that is I I wasn't able to do or to quit cold turkey I just um, I needed more time I 
I was very, very attached to my habits and it takes a while for them to, to really change. No matter how strong your reasons are, um, I'm, I'm a bit stubborn. Yeah, so it took me a while, but I wanted to continually move forward and I would do that. So I would make a small change. Like I would say, at break, instead of having two smokes, I'm only gonna have one. Or when it got to the next phase, I'm not gonna have any smokes at break, only at like breakfast, lunch, dinner, something like that. It was, um, it was definitely a change, but it was a smaller one. And I would wait for that to become my new norm, become my habit. And then I would switch another one. I would go for another phase. Um, some people find this more difficult, like ripping off a band-aid in slow motion, but for me, I, like I said, I'm stubborn, so it took me a while, like I said, five years to, to fully quit. Um, the hardest part for me was uh, not smoking while I was drinking. Um, I always found that those went hand in hand, and um, that, was, that was the one that, that took the longest to, to break. But find whatever steps work for you, and uh, just start working through them. Just start working through them, and you'll find uh, you get further than you think, faster than you faster than you imagine. Okay, tip number four, change daily habits. So this goes kind of hand in hand with number three, because as you make those small changes, you're gonna need to put something in that place or else, you know, there's, there's not a lot of support there. When you stop smoking, you need to have a plan. You need to have something set up there. One of the options is to become active. So you can do something during that time if you're able to. If you're at home, you can go for a walk. Or if you're, whatever, at work, you can go and uh, socialize with some of the people that, that don't smoke. Or you can have a glass of water. Or you can have a healthy snack. There, there are seriously so many different options that you can do. It's just a matter of choosing what's going to work for you or even a combination of them and, and go from there. And last but not least, tip number five, forgive yourself. This is a hard road and you should be just so proud of yourself that you're even thinking of changing this. It's, um, it's very difficult, not going to lie, but if you really want to do it, you will do it. This is, this is your life, this is your health, this is you spending more time with your family and the people that you love and your friends and, and enjoying everything that we get to experience here. Um, it's tough, so give yourself a break if you fall off the horse and get back on when you can, um, as soon as you can, and just be gentle. Because as long as you're moving forward or trying to move forward, that's all you can ask of yourself. Everybody goes this journey in their own pace. Um, just keep doing one step forward and you'll get there. Good luck. Okay, so those are my tips and tricks to quitting smoking. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you found some value in what I was able to share. I know that they really helped me and uh, several other people that I know. Anyway, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, please leave me a comment. If you think this is going to help anybody else, remember to share. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I just want to say, remember that health is a journey, not a destination. That every step on that journey is as important as the other. Sometimes you're going to take a step back, but as long as you're consistently trying to move forward, that's all you can ask. At some point, you're going to look back and see how far you've come. I know I've been there, and you can do it too. Anyway, until the next video, I hope you have a health-filled day. Bye.